Have you seen this new tool? In less than 60 seconds, it built this exact app you're looking at right now. And guess what? You can too with zero coding knowledge. Or maybe you have some coding knowledge, but like very little of it. That's fine. You can still do this. You heard that right. This is not clickbait. And today, we are going to clone any website application, including user logins, databases, and even a custom design. And best of all, it takes only a few minutes to pull off. Let me show you how this works. First, describe the app you want. Then the AI will generate the code. Finally, the app goes live in minutes. Let's try this out. First, we need to figure out which app we're gonna clone. So let's go to some popular website. Now I'm gonna take a screenshot of the 11 Labs app because I wanna make a clone of that. If you don't know what 11 Labs is, it's a text-to-speech tool. Okay, so we got our app. Let's move over to Lovable, AI. This is the tool that actually does the cloning. Over here, we need to upload our screenshot. So let's do that. Click Choose File and Upload. Perfect. We've uploaded our screenshot. Next, we need to describe the app that we just took a screenshot of. And the best way to do that is by using ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and jump into Chat. GPT, and see what we can get it to do. All right, we're inside ChatGPT and all we need to do is type in, describe the app 11 Labs. But there's one thing you wanna make sure of. You wanna make sure that you turn on the code interpreter feature. Some of you may already have it enabled, but most of you won't. So if you don't have it enabled, you want to click the three dots over here, go to settings, scroll down until you see code interpreter, then click turn on, and that will enable the code interpreter feature. Now once that's turned on, you wanna copy the following prompt right here and paste it in ChatGPT. We'll start by describing what the app does. It's a text-to-speech tool that converts written text into natural sounding speech. It offers various voices and customization options. Next, list the features of the app. It should have an input field for entering text, buttons for converting text to speech, and saving or sharing the output. And finally, describe the UI elements such as colors, fonts, and layout. It should have a clean and user-friendly interface with clear instructions and feedback. Now hit enter. There you go. We've got our prompt. Let's go back to Lovable AI and let's paste in that prompt. Make sure you don't change anything and hit submit. All right, let's see what it comes up with. And within seconds, it's already built out the structure for the entire app. Now we just need to click continue. We're brought to the next page where we can customize the app. As you can see, it built out the entire app. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and click continue. Next, we need to add the backend. The backend is what allows us to connect to databases, use APIs and store user data. For this app, we're going to be using Superbase. It's completely free and it takes two seconds to sign up for. So let's go ahead and sign up for a Superbase account. We're now inside Superbase and all we need to do is click this orange button that says start building. Next, let's go back to Lovable AI. Now we need to add our Superbase project ID and project secret. You can find these credentials in your Superbase dashboard under project settings and API. However, I wouldn't recommend storing your project secret here. Instead, we can use environment variables. So let's go ahead and jump into the editor and add in the environment variable section. Here's the name of the environment variable and here's the value. The name is Superbase Project Secret and the value is your actual project secret. Once that's added, let's go ahead and click Save. Now we also need to add an API key. For this demo, we're going to be using OpenAI's text-to-speech API. So let's go ahead and jump into platform. Etch and sign up for an account. You can use your Google account. It takes two seconds. Once signed in, you want to click on your profile picture and go to view API keys. Now the first thing you want to do is add a new API key. Give your API key a name and then click create new secret key. Once created, you want to immediately click copy because you only have a few seconds to copy it before it gets hidden. Let's go back to Lovable. AI and add in the environment variable. Name is open AI API key and the value is your copied API key. Now we can go ahead and click save. Now we can head back to our dashboard. Now we can click on run locally and run this puppy like a local server. If everything is set up correctly, this should open up the app in our browser. So let's click on this link right here. Boom, there's the app, looks great. But does it work? Let's try it out. I'm gonna type in some text. Click generate voice and see what happens. It actually worked. Our cloned app is fully functional. Next, we need to customize the app. This is where you can add new features or tweak the existing ones. 
Let's ask the AI to add a history page. And this page will store all the generated audio files. Here's what I'd like to propose. Create a history page that displays a list of generated audio clips with playback controls and timestamps indicating when each clip was generated. This would allow users to revisit previously generated clips and review their content easily. Additionally, I'd like to request a logout functionality that allows users to sign out of their accounts. This would ensure that users can control their session and prevent unauthorized access to their accounts. Lastly, I'd like to suggest adding a landing page that provides an overview of the text-to-speech app. The landing page should include a brief description of the app's functionality, a showcase of supported voices, and a call to action encouraging users to sign up or log in. These additional features would enhance the overall user experience by providing a more complete and engaging interface. And there you have it. The AI has generated the code for those new features. So let's go ahead and click on Apply Changes. It says it successfully applied the changes. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. There's the history page. Let's click on it. There's all the audios. Let's play one. That's cool. But that's not all we asked for. We also asked for a login page. So where is it? Well, if you look closely, you'll notice that this is no longer an option. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. Boom, it works. So now we have the history page, the login page, and the main page. Also, we have a logout button. So that works too. We've now successfully cloned the 11 Labs app, but there's still one step left and that's to publish. To do that, we'll use Vercel. It's free, easy, and fast. All we need to do is sign up for an account. Once signed up, let's go ahead and click on New Project. Now we can deploy our app to Heroku. Just click on this button right here. In a few moments, our app is live. So let's go ahead and click on this URL right here. And there you have it. Our app is now live and anyone in the world can see it. You can find all the tools used in this video in the description below. Also, if you want the exact prompts and steps on how to clone this app, check the description for the full guide. What do you think of this video? Love it or not? Let me know in the comments. Also, make sure you like and subscribe for more awesome AI videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.